Mr. Jelly, a bag waiter, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests, and most especially Jack Griffin. Now I asked Jack Griffin what to look for tonight, and he said that his main goal was this to be a pick-me-up keynote speech. Now, I always loved listening to Jack Griffin, and he did a beautiful job of talking about David Bond tonight. I learned a lot from what Jack Griffin said. I did know that David Bond was a distinguished Toastmaster, and I did know that David Bond truly believes in God. But I did not know from the story about Korea, about his life being spared, and even when his life was spared, he had a doubt that maybe he might be shot in the back, but thank God he wasn't. And that story really changed David Bond. He became such a great person. He gave back to the community. He actually gave back to the prison ministry and looked for people in prison that were hardened and he tried to change them. He came to Toastmasters here in 1972 and he made a huge difference in all of our lives. He has really helped all of us members become better speakers. He cares very much about Toastmasters. He wants us to be the best. He wouldn't even allow us in table topics to have the question repeated. He expected us to listen to it the first time. He is definitely a perfectionist and that's good to have here in Toastmasters. Now I like what Jack Griffin said and I, I did like your ending too Jack where you said that David Bond made a difference here in Toastmasters and he would be sorely missed. But I think that we could enhance on that a, a lot. And I think what we could do is say something a little bit more strong. And that might be, we love you David Bond, the Lord loves you David Bond, and may the Lord keep you. We pray the Lord sends us outstanding Toastmasters so that we maintain the David Bond legacy in Toastmasters 1810. Mr. Dillon,